Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.7 and problem number 2.107. Two blocks having weights W1 and W2 are connected by a string and rest on horizontal plane as shown. If the angle of friction force for each block is 5, find the magnitude and direction of the least force be applied to the upper block that will induce sliding. That means there are two blocks attached with a string. How much force P we need to apply so that the sliding will Im induce. So for that let us draw the free body diagram for both the blocks. First let us draw the free body diagram for W2. The various forces acting on W2 are the self weight there is a normal reaction since this w2 will try to move towards left side hence there is a frictional force and there is a string force that is along the string and it is away from the body let t is the string force there are four forces acting on w2 now the first force is w2 normal reaction let us say it is n2 and there is a frictional force towards right side that is mu into n2 and there is a tension in the string t let this angle the string makes an angle theta with the horizontal you convert you transfer all these forces along x axis and y axis the self weight w2 is acting in the downward direction mu into n2 is acting in this direction normal reaction n2 is acting in this direction and t is acting in this direction which makes an angle theta so you can resolve that t into two components one component is horizontal component t cos theta and the vertical component is t sin theta so by considering the equilibrium equation sigma fx is equal to zero there are two forces so you can side mu into n2 is equal to t cos theta and hence i can find n2 n2 is equal to t cos theta by mu Similarly, sigma Fy is equal to 0, there are three forces and two forces are acting in the positive direction, W2 is acting in the negative direction, hence I can say W2 is equal to N2 plus T sin theta and I am substituting N2 is equal to T cos theta plus mu here and after simplification you will get W2 is equal to T cos theta by mu plus T sin theta and I can find the tension in the string t value that is mu w2 by cos theta plus mu sin theta let us say this is equation number one now let us consider the free body diagram of w1 the self weight and there is a normal reaction that is n1 and there is a string force t which makes an angle theta and there is a force p which makes an another angle let us say alpha and there is a frictional force acts towards right side now by considering the free body diagram of W1, so the T makes an angle theta here, the self weight is W1, normal reaction is N1, frictional force is mu into N1, the tension in the string let us say T which makes an angle theta and there is a P, let us assume this angle is alpha. Now let us transfer all the forces along x axis and y axis. Now the first force is W1 acting in the downward direction normal reaction n1 is acting in the upward direction mu into n1 is the force acting in this direction t is the force tension force which makes an angle theta acts in this direction and p is the force which makes an angle alpha now t you can resolve the horizontal component becomes t cos theta and the vertical component becomes t sin theta so t i have resolved p i can resolve the horizontal component is p cos alpha and the vertical component is p sin alpha so these are the forces by considering sigma fx there are three forces mu n1 t cos theta and p cos alpha so mu n1 plus t cos theta is equal to p cos alpha and from that i can find n1 n1 is equal to p cos alpha minus t cos, the cos theta by mu similarly sigma fy is equal to 0 there are two forces acting in the upward direction and two forces acting in the downward direction. Hence, I can write N1 plus P sin alpha is equal to W1 plus T sin theta. I can substitute N1 here. 
So after substituting you got P cos alpha minus T cos theta by mu plus P sin alpha is equal to W1 plus T sin theta. So from this equation I can find the value of T upon simplification I will get T is equal to P cos alpha plus mu P sin alpha by mu W1 divided by cos theta plus mu sin theta. By considering free body diagram of W2 I calculated T that is in equation 1. By considering W1 I calculated T then I equate both so then I will get this equation mu w2 by cos theta plus mu sin theta is equal to this one p cos alpha plus mu p sin alpha minus mu w1 by cos theta plus mu sin theta. So the denominators gets cancelled and finally you will get mu w2 is equal to this numerator p cos alpha plus mu p sin alpha minus mu w1. From this I will try to get an equation for p. Okay. So I am simplifying this, I am rearranging this equation and from that I can able to calculate the value of P that P is equal to mu into W1 plus W2 by cos alpha plus mu sin alpha. But mu I know mu is the coefficient of friction let phi is the friction angle and I can say mu is equal to tan phi. So it is tan phi into W1 plus W2 by cos alpha plus tan alpha tan phi into sin alpha this is the equation now further i can simplify tan phi i will write it as sin phi by cos phi and this tan phi i will write by sin phi by cos phi and I, I i can simplify further cos phi cos phi gets cancelled finally you will get one equation sin phi into w1 plus w2 by uh, this cos alpha cos phi plus sin alpha sin phi becomes cos phi alpha minus phi but our interest is to find the minimum value of P, P minimum, how much minimum force I need to apply. For this should be minimum, so this cos phi minus alpha must be maximum. So for P to be minimum, cos alpha minus phi is to be maximum. Uh, because it is a cos, the maximum value must be equal to 1 because it is only the possibility. So 1 becomes it is 0, cos 0, so and I can say alpha is equal to 5. Now you substitute alpha is equal to 5 in this equation then I can find P minimum is equal to sin alpha into W1 plus W2 is the answer for the given problem.